Hi, this is me, Anya here. Unfortunately, I'm not feeling very well today. Um, I thought uh, that I should make at least one video where I don't feel as great and um, okay uh, like I normally do. So normally, uh, when you watch my videos, you don't see a lot of my physical discomfort. Uh, today, this is not the case. Um, I'm feeling very, uh, very ill. I had seven days of chemo and I'm having seven days of off chemo, so no chemo. And today is second day of where I don't get chemo medication. However, unfortunately, I still feel very sick. I still can feel how the medication is, the poison is still inside me. It's try, my body is trying to get rid of me. tired, I need to sleep, I'm nauseated and uncomfortable. So usually I don't do um, videos while I'm taking them chemo medication. That means the seven day period. Well, actually, I might do the first day or second day I might do a video because I'm still kind of okay. But after that, I usually don't do a video because it's physically too hard. And then right after the chemo cycle is over, I also don't do it just because I'm physically too ill to handle it. So... That's why my, I will never be able to put up videos on a regular basis. Um, well, I guess I can put them up on a regular basis, but I can never make them on a regular basis. Right. Um, so this week was especially hard uh, for my chemo week because uh, the last days of Makima, my hubby was away. He had to go to a different state, to Alabama. And I had to stay home with my daughter. So we had arranged that somebody will help uh, us uh, taking our daughter to school in the morning because I had the chemo week and I'm just too weak probably in the morning to take her to school, but I had to. To still take her home from school and feed her lunch and dinner and make sure she does her homework all those things and that was almost a I had to do it almost a week alone so all this um, additionally to the chemo oh, it was it was a hard week the past week was a hard hard week uh, I was barely moving uh, one of the most recent health uh, information I have for you is that I found three lumps in my neck and uh, that was actually almost a week ago and I was supposed to go get uh, ultrasound yesterday morning but because I was too weak, uh, had no, uh, my hubby was not around to help me, well I had actually nobody to help me and I was nauseated to the point of vomiting, uh, my legs were weak um, I, and it was, the ultrasound appointment was 8 a.m. so it was, it was just very early for my body to go there because my body usually needs like, during the chemo days, it needs like 12 hours of sleep and of course I couldn't do that because I couldn't go to sleep earlier I had to go to sleep when my daughter was ready to sleep right and 
she doesn't sleep 12 plus hours, right? She sleeps more like 10 hours. Anyway, my point is that unfortunately I wasn't able to get to the ultrasound and they scheduled me another other one which is coming up soon. Because I have gone through a uh, I have gone through so much health issues that I'm not even concerned. I mean, I am concerned about those lumps, but it's like I can't muster any anxiety anymore. Over the years, I have had so much anxiety that I just cannot come up with. Like, I just, like, yeah, okay, sure. It's kind of my attitude is like that. One important thing I wanted to talk about is that um, because some of the comments that I have been getting, uh, I was surprised. So I have stage four breast cancer. That means it has metastasized beyond the breasts, right? into the bones in my case and to this state there is not a single person who has survived this condition this means that it is terminal this means there is no medication no treatment that would erase the cancer that would uh, fight the cancer into disappearance right there isn't there isn't such a medication and uh, yes I mean since I got sick I have had so many different different options suggested to me yoga and food and this and that sure all these things are very really good for your body but if any of those methods, those alternative methods, would have actually uh, made you completely cure metastasized breast cancer, then we would be aware of it. Every year, millions of women die of metastasized breast cancer. So this is not. If you are under the assumption that there is something that the doctors are not telling you or I, I don't even know how to respond to that um, so I'm just going to leave it to that it's just a fact and I kind of live my life with facts I'm very science oriented person and proof of it is that I recently got uh, two of my science papers out they are in a very high high val highly valued scientific journals I'm going to leave a reference underneath this video just in case you are interested to just seeing what kind of papers they are but that they are not um, you know they're not really for reading they're very very specific they're not to be understood I'm just trying to make a point that I am very capable of reading I'm very capable of logical thought and analysis uh, finding information and putting it together so I have terminal cancer don't like tell me that maybe you will beat it it's um, it's just weird it's just weird I don't know how to respond to that